a video on interactions of photons with matter such as photoelectric effect, Compton scattering and pair production created by R.S. Madhikeshwara, Assistant Professor of Physics, Government College for Women, Mandya. The interactions of photons with matter based on the their incoming energies will result the following interactions. Photoelectric effect. It is a low energy interaction. Compton scattering and Thomson scattering. These are the mid energy interactions. Pair production, photo disintegration and photo fission. These are the high energy interactions. The two most common forms of interactions of photons with matter are the photoelectric effect and Compton scattering. The probability of these events depends on the absorbing medium and the photon energy. In this video the low energy interaction, such as photoelectric effect, the mid energy interaction, such as Compton scattering and the high energy interaction such as pair production are explained. The photoelectric effect is a phenomenon in which electrons are ejected from the surface of a material, usually metallic, when light of suitable frequency is incident on it. Electrons emitted in this manner are called photoelectrons. The photoelectric effect predominates for low energy photons. The effect was first discovered by a German physicist Heinrich Rudolf Hertz in the year 1887. In 1905, Albert Einstein explained why the maximum kinetic energy of the outgoing electrons depended on the light frequency rather than on its intensity, by describing light as composed of discrete quanta, now called photons, rather than continuous waves. Based upon Max Planck's theory of black body radiation, Einstein theorized that the energy in each quantum of light was equal to the frequency multiplied by a constant, later called Planck's constant H. A photon above a threshold frequency has the required energy to eject a single electron, creating the photoelectric effect. This discovery led to the quantum revolution in physics and earned Einstein the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. The laws of photoelectric effect proposed by Albert Einstein in 1905 are as follows. For a given metal surface, there exists a certain minimum frequency of incident radiation below which no photoelectrons are emitted. This frequency is called the threshold frequency. The photoelectric emission is an instantaneous process. Means there is no time lag between the incidence of radiation and the emission of a photoelectron. For a given metal surface and frequency of incident radiation, the rate at which photoelectrons are emitted is directly proportional to the intensity of the incident light. Above the threshold frequency, the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectron depends on the frequency of the incident radiation, but is independent of the intensity of the incident radiation. The maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectron is given by
where h is the Planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the incident radiation. The term phi is called the work function of the material, which gives the minimum energy required to remove an electron from the material surface and is given by phi equals h nu naught, where nu naught is the threshold frequency. Then the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electron becomes This equation is called Einstein's photoelectric equation. When a monochromatic beam of high frequency radiation, such as X rays or gamma rays, is scattered by a substance, the scattered radiation contains two types of wavelengths, one having the same wavelength as that of the incident radiation while the other having the wavelength greater than that of the incident radiation. This effect was discovered in 1923 by the American physicist Arthur Holly Compton and is known as Compton effect. Compton scattering is the scattering of an X-ray photon or a gamma-ray photon by an electron at rest. This results in an increase in wavelength of the scattered photon and the recoiling of an electron. The photon transfers a portion of its energy to the recoil electron. The Compton effect predominates for moderate to high energy photons. It is an example for elastic collision and inelastic scattering. This effect signifies the particle nature exhibited by electromagnetic radiation such as light. Compton received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1927 for this discovery. The amount by which the wavelength of the incident photon changes after Compton scattering is called Compton shift. The expression for Compton shift delta lambda is given by where lambda is the wavelength of the incident photon, lambda prime is the wavelength of the scattered photon and theta is the scattering angle. The Compton scattering is an inelastic scattering because the wavelength of the scattered photon lambda prime is greater than the wavelength of the incident photon lambda. The Compton shift is independent of the wavelength of the incident photon. The Compton shift has the same value for all substance containing free electron. The Compton shift depends only on the scattering angle theta. The Compton shift varies from 0 for theta to equal to 0 degree to a maximum value of 2 h by m naught c for theta to equal to 180 degrees. The simultaneous creation of a particle and its antiparticle by a nucleus or particle in an excited state, as when a photon is absorbed is called pair production. Pair production often refers specifically to a photon creating an electron-positron pair on its interaction with the strong electric field surrounding a nucleus. Examples include creating an electron and a positron, a muon and an antimuon, or a proton and an antiproton. Pair production was first observed in 1932, which led to two early Nobel Prizes in physics, to Carl Anderson for the discovery of positrons in 1936 and to Paul Dirac for the theory of antiparticles in 1933.
Pair production is a direct conversion of radiant energy to matter in accordance with Einstein's mass energy relation E equal to mc square. For pair production to occur, the energy of the interacting photon must be at least equivalent to the rest mass energy of the particle and antiparticle pair. Photon energy in excess of this amount, when pair production occurs, is converted into the motion of the particle and antiparticle pair. Pair production can be represented by an equation for electron positron pair as h nu equals 2 m naught c square plus kinetic energy of electron plus kinetic energy of positron. Pair production is the dominant mode of photon interaction with matter in case of high energy photons, that is for E greater than 1 mega electron volt. The photon must be near a nucleus in order to satisfy conservation of momentum, as an electron positron pair produced in free space cannot both satisfy conservation of energy and momentum. Because of this, when pair production occurs, the atomic nucleus receives some recoil. The reverse process of pair production is called pair annihilation.